Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a limit break that I am so excited about. We are playing Fire One today. Okay, not the evolution. We are not going for Hellfire. We are sticking to Fire One. Now, the reason I am excited is there is an Arcana in the game, and we'll have to wait a little bit until we get there. And this Arcana allows the projectiles to bounce around, okay? So today, possibly for one of the only times, we will not go for Boogaloof Illusions. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but we can't really afford it. So as you can see, we need a fire explosion Arcana, right? That the projectiles explode, because, I mean, that's amazing, we need that. Otherwise, each projectile can only hit one enemy, that's, that's not that great, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and then we have to go for the bouncing one and we have to go for silent old sanctuary And then lastly we obviously want to attempt to go for wicked season now It may turn out that this doesn't work at all and um, talking about not working at all. What is going on here? Why is this so difficult? But that is not all of it. Usually in this game you have negative 85% cooldown reduction However, um, do you see that we have an empty tomb left? We have negative 82% right now. Now we are at negative 90% That is the maximum that you can achieve in this game and as you can see we are turning a little bit into a gatling gun Okay, <laughs> isn't this amazing? Isn't this great? Yeah, so this character gains natural cooldown reduction 5% every I think 10 level ups And that means after level 10 you, you're just maxed out. So this weapon can only have 30 projectiles That means when they bounce around a ton um, We will not be able to shoot out anymore And the problem that I see there is when they bounce around too much and you can't spawn any more shots because there are 30 around Usually characters do not attack anymore and that means you won't be protected at all yeah that's that's not great okay like how am i supposed to even get the other arcana i guess it's just time to wait for the limit break stats we get a mount there i'm pretty sure and that would mean it's okay okay it's a lot safer yeah we also have the badge on the stage wow there's a boss okay there's a flower wall really <laughs> that is the one that i get the badge will give us additional projectiles so even if the weapon doesn't have it we can still get a bunch you know it's fine it doesn't matter all too much can i maybe get some chicken no i can uh game <laughs> come on <laughs> we'll banish the taruna we don't need more curse there's a chest over there right and the first boss hasn't given me a chest i just realized uh, there we go we do have spinach i'm so excited to limit break this super duper old weapon it's one of if not the oldest weapon in this entire game like alongside with whip it was one of the earliest weapons that existed and um yeah do, do you see how crazy it's getting already i mean to be fair this is just how the weapon is on this character if you would play someone else it would take 50 percent longer to shoot them out even though it doesn't sound like a lot to have five percent less cooldown it makes a big difference once you get close to 0%. You know, that makes sense, right? If you go from... Oh, we have fire breathing. That is such a perfect one. <laughs> perfect, yeah. Let's go for area. I just want to make sure that our hits actually hit the enemies. Since, uh, yeah, we are planning to move over here. And we'll also get the armor. I have it unlocked this time that I can actually get all the level ups. And that means we have more retaliatory damage. But what was I talking about? Uh, I just... I just... Oldest weapon. la di da di da And here. Yeah, make it bigger to make sure... That we actually hit the enemies the more safe we are the easier this will be there's a chicken oh perfect okay please give me something good like <laughs> i included you in hopes you would carry me a little bit and this could give me an item this could give me anything uh let's see we have gold fever that doesn't heal me right yeah because we don't have the gold arcana hmm because i don't feel like we can currently deal with the guardians and especially the hands that spawn there instead i will walk down and i will get the crown there okay thank you and do we also just get the badge right away for more projectiles i think that makes the most sense help help area Okay, I'll go for Might here. We don't really need the speed yet. This will only be important once we fill up the entire screen with projectiles so they disappear faster. Okay. Oh, the area is helping. The, the, wait, the, are the explosions affected by that? They actually shouldn't be affected. Only when the main character gets area. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, where's the crown? It's right above me. And we do have a chest here. If this is a triple chest, that would be great. Okay, guards, 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 guards. Can you just die? I would usually just bump into them and take the crown. 
but uh, this is a little bit dangerous here. Um, there we go. Thank you. Let's go down here. And triple chest? Oh, single chest, of course. I mean, had to be. Mm, I don't like this. This is a typical weapon that needs a bunch of time until it gets really good. And I also have to be careful that I don't ignore might for too long. Though I have noticed we haven't seen a mount at all, right? Maybe that's just not a limit break stat, and then the badge would have insane value. The thing is, I don't really want the badge usually. Not because it's bad, but because, well, okay, it's bad that you lose growth. And when you have growth doubling with Wicked Season, uh, that the effect is doubled, right? You lose double the growth, not so great. Uh, but, but yeah, I think I will need it, that we even just survive getting the arcane. Okay, can you just shoot at the enemies, please? Like, like what, what, what are you even doing sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go. Maybe what I need to do... Oh my god, there's a mount in there. It's actually in there. Oh, wow. That has a huge effect given how fast we shoot. Look at this. Wait, that was just plus one amount. And it's going so much better. Hey, that is insane. Wait, that is ridiculous. I guess it makes sense, right? It makes a shot wider. So it doesn't matter as much anymore where it's shooting. Really? Summon Ilmolis. I, I will code the game. I will code this out. This is one of the most boring things that can happen to you because it just ruins the entire game. Ah, uh, it's fine. Early on it doesn't matter all too much, but it, it actually matters a lot. Yeah, doesn't it? Um, I'm dying. Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Okay, I know that I talk a lot of trash about the Ilmolis. However, in this particular case, it may be exactly the thing that I needed to get through the enemies without them spawning and killing me. Wait a second. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, maybe I was complaining a little bit too much. Uh, there we go, let's kill this dude. Can you just die? The weapon definitely has a lot of damage, okay? But do you see the randomness? It's not like the magic... Really? I just wasted a bunch of level ups? Yeah, we don't really want anything here. Skip! And there we go. I mean, that, that, that was still great, right? Yeah, three level ups, I take it. I do believe... Couldn't you go up here and walk to the right and then get to the Guardians somewhere? Hopefully. Maybe not. Now, I'm pretty sure you could. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. No, that break time was actually perfect. Like, I think I would have lost a revival, and then it's kind of pointless to get the badge, because I wanted to have the revivals from it. Like, you do get more, but sacrificing one is, is not that great. We did lose a little bit of experience, but in the long run, if we do end up getting Wicked Season, this will not matter at all, like, trust me. Okay, can I just run through the enemies? They are a little bit scary. Oh, the Pylosol spawned. That means that oh my god, do you see how much we are shooting now? <laughs> oh my god, we are turning into a fire-breathing dragon. Dragon these nuts. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> hey, hey, fire wand? Wait, wh what is it shooting at? Do you see that? Like, I think it tries to aim at the stuff that was there before. Okay, how do I get inside of there? Um, okay, now the hands are back. This is not great. These are the ones that I'm mainly scared of. I think what I'll do is I will just run in. What was the plan here? Oh yeah, well, wicked season. Oh. Maybe I needed to go for the bounces here. I don't think wicked season is a good idea at all. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because- Oh my god, I will just die. Okay, I'm not complaining. Are we actually facing a stalker? No, that's just a meme, right? No, we are facing the stalker. Okay, that's uh, great. That's, yeah, that's really great. I need some- Oh my god, be useful, please. Do we- Oh my- the as much as I like the events, I think I have to deactivate it, because there is zero chance we can deal with this guy. Okay, enough of that. I'll just take a gamble. I'll take a huge gamble. Oh, yeah, I walked right into the Guardian decks. Oh, you're great. Okay, 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 I can do this. There, we need the bounces here, and I do have a theory that maybe the moment we have the bounces, everything will be good, okay? And that's a pure theory. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is beautiful. Wait, this is amazing! Wait, this is incredible! Oh wow, look at this! Okay, yeah, 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 it would have been insane! This would have most likely managed to kill all the guardians easily. Uh, that is- oh wow, wait, we, we still got food here. <laughs> look at this! It doesn't really matter anymore what it does. Okay, I, I'm gonna say this, it's a little bit hard to see what happens on the screen. 
Oh my god, but that is so amazing. And look at the damage numbers. Dude, I've... Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, I think the first Guardian is about to die, and yes, they did. The first Guardian is dead. Oh my... Oh. <laughs> Wait, there's only one left. Huh? That was so worth it. Wait, that is mental. Wait, where's this damage coming from? We may even go for Toruna now. Like, when you banish it on the final level up, and there's one level left, you can still pick up the one on the stage, eventually, and get the 100% bonus curse. And given how broken this could be, that will maybe work. Now, I do say maybe. There's an issue. Also, I want to have this chest. Thank you. Go oh, careful. There is an issue. The AoE attack it does. I don't know if this scales up with the limit break. Because we tried this before and it didn't work with the contact damage at least when they touch my character. But maybe with the weapons it works. So, I would like to bump up my might a little bit and just see what happens. And there we go. We are back to it. I'm the base right now whether the badge is good or not because if we can only have 30 projectiles on the screen I mean count this right now and now imagine we get a huge amount of uh, amount <laughs> on the fire wand itself from the limit breaks then the amount from the badge wouldn't do anything and the only reason why we have it is for the revivals but does it really make sense to sacrifice so much growth just to have a few more revivals I honestly don't believe that matters then right like, I'm better off to just, yeah, ignore it now, I guess. So let's take a look at the damage right now. We deal 280-something damage, roughly. You have to take the average of it. And our explosion damage is exactly half of that right now. Huh, I wonder if that changes over time. Like, once we increase the might on the weapon. Oh, but that increases it on the weapon itself, right? Let's actually give this a try. There's more mount. Yeah, see that? Like, yeah, we don't really need more, I think, on the stage. But I want to bump up the might a little bit. That just gives the weapon plus one base damage. Uh, there we go. Now, did the explosion damage also go up? Uh, we deal 310 damage. It's 152, the explosion there. It does go up. That means it keeps scaling. That was my only fear that was left for this video to fail. We have bounces. We have big explosions. We have everything. Wait, okay, okay. So the only thing that we need now is either Wicked Season or Boogaloo of Illusions. And the thing is, you know, Wicked Season is actually a lot better. Like, it's way, way better because you just level up way more. So, I will go for that and we'll see if it works now with the bounces first. Like, I definitely think that will work. Like, I mean, look, I mean, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? Wait, where's the big red gem? You can't convince me that this is all the experience I've gotten in a while now. Oh, my. Okay. Okay. Yep. There we go. There we go. Okay. That That is... <laughs> <laughs> the speed increase is so nice. What is the area damage? So the main weapon does 300 damage, I think, 320. And 160 is the area damage. Yeah, yeah it's always half. Okay, that's perfect. There's a boss. Oh my god, you poor boy. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. And we just got another candy box here. And we don't need that. There, skip. Don't you also think that it's quite impressive that we don't have Wicked Season and yet we are level 114 on this stage? Like, it's not even the library where you would expect to get more experience. The amount of kills that we are getting right now are quite nuts for a weapon like this. Okay, minute 11. How difficult... Okay. Not sure. And there we go. Roll Wicked Season. I have to find the red gem. I have to find the red gem. Um, oh, there. Is it this? <gasps> okay. Okay. We, we got like 22 level ups there in one go. Okay, 23 level ups with the very first red gem. I won't complain about that. And there is a vacuum over there. Um, no, I would say... Oh, they touched me. But we can still upgrade it, right? We have area in the... Oh, my... 166. This isn't this insane? We just got Wicked Season. And look at the speed. Look at the area. Look at the explosion size. It does scale up the explosion size. <gasps> oh, Dex, you idiot, man. Just keep your hands on the keyboard. What is wrong with you? Uh, it's just way more comfortable to just put my hand away. I sometimes feel a little bit like an Italian, you know, when I'm talking, I'm, I'm gesticulating a lot. Yeah, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> was it racist? That wasn't racist, right? 
I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm German, okay? Just take a sausage or something while talking. That's why would you do that? How would that even? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let's stop this topic. <laughs> oh my God! Look at the explosion damage. Two hundred ten on the explosions. How far? Uh, okay, so yeah, we don't have Google of Illusions. Now, to be fair, I do believe Google of Illusions would still be insane because the explosions would have like twice the size since we multiply the area scaling on the weapon with the character area. Uh oh. Okay, I don't like that. Um, I don't like getting hit because that means we are just waiting for... We just got one more amount. How is there still more amount in there? We are pretty much just waiting for a strong enemy to spawn or a strong wave. And I do know at like 15 minutes there is an incredibly strong wave spawning. Those are the ghoul girls. You know, the one monster from the ring that comes out of the television. Yeah, and they don't take knockback. So that could be a little bit of a problem. Oh. Oh, this is the base vacuum. Right, I never took that path here. Um, <laughs> the pots are my biggest enemy here. <laughs> hey, pots. They are soaking up so much of my, like, bullets and everything. I don't like that. We are level 228. We just got this at 11 minutes. And there we were at, like, what, level 120, right? No, level 112, I think. We just doubled our level in three minutes. This is the insane power of Wicked Season. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Are you good, Fire Wand? Are you okay? This is this is one of the oldest weapons, and is turning into one of the most insane weapons, even better than Hellfire. Well, you know, okay, that's that's a bold claim. That's a really bold claim. But I do believe the damage on the Fire Wand is actually higher than on Hellfire, which makes sense, right? Because Hellfire penetrates the enemy, so that has way more use. But with the bouncing and explosions... Oh, there was a red gem, I think. Yeah, with the bouncing and explosions, we don't really need that. And Hellfire can also bounce. But I think the way it works for Hellfire is... It goes to the outer screen, like to this edge of the screen. And then it bounces once. That's the same thing that Death Spiral does. Like, it's a little bit of a lie. When it says up to three times, it just means... Those that don't penetrate, they bounce three times... And and those that do penetrate, they bounce once, I think, if I remember that right. There we go. Okay. 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 Holy mo- Level 300! It's five minutes- Wait, we got the candy box. <laughs> Did they get bumped up? Huh. <laughs> we could take Hellfire now and replace our weapon. <laughs> We're not doing that. We are not doing that, okay. How is it so big without Boogaloo of Illusions? That is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> you wouldn't expect this, right? At least I wouldn't. Like, I know they get really big, and with Boogaloo of Illusions, they would probably already be around screen size or so. Well, so if we got Boogaloo of Illusions at the time we had Wicked Season, like we pretend we got two, we would have gotten 200% bonus area. So we would double their size. Okay, it's, n it's not that much. It would double it. Yeah, well, but this means doubled explosion size, and the explosions are ginormous. Huh. In case you're wondering why I do keep the damage numbers on, I need to see when an enemy walks on top of me like a boss that I immediately notice that. So when I turn that off and the explosions just cover up a boss, I'm, I'm dead, okay? So I, I can't afford that. Sorry. But yeah, we are... Oh my god, we just crossed 150k kills. This catapulted up so much and we are killing so many enemies. Oh, okay. What is the problem? Do we just not have enough projectiles? Like, to deal with them? Or is it just a random shooting? Huh. Well, that's a little bit... How much are we leveling up here? Wait, what? Okay, okay. where those, like, 50 level ups or something? <laughs> wait, wait a second! Look at the... Kill counter shooting up! Wait, that is insane! This is ridiculous! This is a base weapon! This is one of the most basic weapons in this entire game! And it's nu Nuking the enemies. Okay. Okay. Uh, careful there. I really wish that you- Oh my god, look at the slowdown. I tapped out for a moment and yeah, the game is really slow. I really wish that at 21 minutes we get another Arcana, which is just not a thing. You can't do that, sadly. 
And it would be great to just get Google of Illusions because we have we've played through different stages of the game pretty much. What just happened? Where is this all coming from? Yeah, but then we would go to the next and the final broken stage where everything becomes ginormous. But it's already so big that you can't see anything, right? So, like, it's logical to go for Google of Illusions and completely break it. The main benefit would be that it just, like, you know, it explodes and hits way more enemies and we are more safe. There was apparently a boss over here. Okay, not sure. We have two vacuums down. Oh, that's amazing. Um, how do I find the vacuum, though? There- oh. Oh, it's right next to me. Okay, let's wait for the next cycle and then we'll pick it up. I assume we'll probably be at level 472. That will be my guess. Are you ready for this? 472, remember it. There we go. It's getting so laggy. <laughs> we still have area scaling in there. What? How much? Oh, wow. Okay, ooh, oh, I was off by quite a lot. Well, it always depends, like, what waves are spawning, how easily you can one-shot them. I just had a heart attack. I thought I wasn't recording, and I'm recording for over one hour and ten minutes. And just losing a recording like that really hurts. Uh, we barely leveled up at all. What? Uh, mouse, hello. G good day, sir. How are you doing? I hope you have goodbye. <laughs> How is this number? Do you see how insanely fast this number is jumping up? Wait, this weapon is. So usually the weapons. Um. Um. I. 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 I, I can't move. I can't move. I. I can't move. I got. Please survive, please survive, please survive, please survive, please survive, please survive, please survive. No! Yeah! Yeah! Oh! I swear to God, we had zero HP left. Oh my. Did you see that? Oh my god! Um. Okay. I. 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 Um. Okay. Okay. I press tab. I hope tab actually helps. Oh my. What? Why is it doing that? Oh! <laughs> Th th that was okay. L listen, listen. This is like like one of those epic anime scenes where you you think it's over, and then they go like for fifty minutes and power up and then defeat the enemy after dying another like fifty times, you know, and miraculously getting back and defeating them. This was this moment. This was this moment. I didn't even see a slight bar of red there. <laughs> I can't believe we survived that. We deserve this win now, please. Please, I have I have no chance of surviving the next curse. Like we have zero chance. I can attempt to always freeze them every single time curse happens. At the same time, I would really like to try out to see if this was just like the 25 minute engage of the enemies overwhelming us and now we would be fine. Oh my god, these enemy lines as well. <laughs> oh, where's the freeze? There's the freeze. Yeah, I think I will... Hmm. Okay, let's check this out together. There we go. The curse is happening. Can we deal with them if they don't just flood us like crazy? Being flooded is actually quite hard to deal with. This is why I always say Pendagram has a downside that many people don't consider. Which is, if you wipe out all the enemies, they all spawn at once and rush at you. Maybe now, where it has calmed down a little bit, can we deal with them? Uh... We... We can? Wait, what? Wait, it, it's not even close. Like, I thought they would get really close and I would almost die or, like, like, at least get harmed. We don't care at all. Is it maybe that it lagged so much that it just skipped a lot of frames and explosions? Also, I really wouldn't mind if the game would just go back to normal speed. Okay, because otherwise I'm stuck here for another half an hour. <laughs> Take a look at the timer. Take a look at the timer, okay? Do you see how long it takes for just one second to pass? And we have a lot of seconds in there. Uh, yeah. It's like 250 seconds right now left. Um, okay. Oh, I hate that I died when I took the Arcana. Okay, is it back to normal? Usually when you pause for a while, it calms down and it's better again. That didn't change anything, did it? 
Yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Yeah, I really wish I had a revival because then I would take more risks and just see if we can do it without freezing them all the time. But now, if something goes wrong, it's just game over. Oh. <gasps> okay. Okay, guys. I, 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 we, we can't do that. I have to keep the game slowed down. Oh, that is so evil. So the actual problem is that because of the lag, they jump in and kill me. That means I have to play the rest of the game in this speed. Like, I can't even do it on, on normal stuff, like without curse. Oh, okay. Okay, this is taking way too long. I'm gonna take a gamble. I paused the game again for a while, so it should speed up in a few seconds. And we will see at 26 minutes, you know, new enemies spawned. Maybe we can deal with them. Um, game? It, it, it's not speeding up anymore. Game? Hello? Oh, what is just wrong with this weapon? <laughs> is it a little bit faster? Not really, right? I think we are just stuck with that. That's also good, because my concern was, when it's so heavily slowed down, like, I will start going on my phone, reading YouTube comments and stuff like this. So, yeah, it could have happened that it speeds up and I don't notice it and just die. So that's good, kind of. But the problem is, every single second that passes takes ages. Oh my god, this will take years. Okay, I took a five minute break. <laughs> if this is not enough to speed it up again, then nothing will happen, ever. Because this just means there is so much going on that even when you just start it up again, it's so bad already that it can't speed up anymore. When the game lags too much, it eventually forces into a slowdown. Like many know that when... Am I getting hit too much that I have to pause the game? Like, to slow it down? I don't think so, right? I think we are good. It's not great, but let's see what happens on non-curse. Okay, can I just move over here? Um... I think I'm fine. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Okay, on non-curse, we seem to be fine here with this current wave. But I have to be careful at 27 minutes to not... Oh, do I have to slow down the game the entire time? Really? But maybe they just hit me because I moved around, and I have to move around to find some chicken. Because I'm a... Okay, tap, 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 Oh my god. It's just getting worse. I've gotten so many level ups, no! How is this so insane? How... This belongs... Like, this weapon belongs to the oldest weapons in the game. I'm currently wondering how much experience is in here. This was just a singular cycle, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 668. Maybe it's not that much. Like, if you look at the kills... Uh, it's, it's actually shooting up quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, for how slow down the game is... Oh my god. <laughs> Check out how long it takes just to level up because it's so slow. That is insane. That is ridiculous. Okay, so we're at 668, right? What you can usually expect is 20 level ups. So, 686. Hmm. Okay, so we are way above the average what you usually get. We are way above the average. Wait, that is insane. We just got 15 extra levels. We almost doubled that. Like, if you use center water, you can expect around... Like, nah. Center water is the maximum, right? Because it always kills him right away. Yeah, I just picked up a freeze. Okay, there's a freeze over there, as well as a chicken. Oh, that's perfect. I want to... Are you ready for 28 minutes? Because I'm not. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh my god, I do Do you see how slowly I move? Do you see that? Oh my god, and they are frozen right now. Oh, that's not good, that's not good, that's not... Oh my god, oh my god, the game is breaking. Oh no! <laughs> I'm not moving at all anymore. Okay, um... Uh, um, how long will it take to get by one second? Just one? They are still frozen. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I will die. Do you see how long they stay alive? We get zero kills. Oh, um. <gasps> they are unfrozen. Okay, okay, okay. How are we doing? 
Please tell me we can actually kill the enemies because I don't want to start picking up freeze after freeze after freeze. I can barely move around. You know what? If we die here, we die here. This weapon has gotten way further than what I expected and has it's way beyond my expectations on every single level. Okay. The game is speeding up right now. Why would it speed up here? Wait, that doesn't make any sense, right? Because if the enemies stay alive for way longer, you have way more explosions around. And that means it lags more. Um, um, I don't know if I like what's going on or if I hate it because it looks like the enemies are crawling in. And I can forget picking up anything. Like, I don't even know where the freezes are at this point. Um, okay. Are we... Oh no, the curse is about to happen. Oh no. Uh, okay, the enemies are definitely moving, and that means with the curse, there is a high chance I will just get nuked. And b with how laggy it is, I can't even react to it. Like, most likely my HP bar will just disappear. Okay, oh my god, they're moving in so far. Oh no, really? I'll be honest, like, I, I know I said, yeah, we'll most likely lose, but I was really hoping we would just magically do it somehow. Uh, oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. You need to see waves where the enemies move further in, but then they all get destroyed, you know, and move back again. I don't see that here. They just keep moving further and further and further in. Oh no, the bottom left here. Oh, that's not good. They are way too close. Oh no, oh no. Well, did we just kill that? Okay, there's another school. Uh, no, it's moving in. I can try to move to the top right a little bit. Like this, yeah. The thing is, you don't want to move too much, because otherwise you keep walking into enemies and they'll kill you. I can't believe... <laughs> I can't believe I haven't considered turning off the damage numbers. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. It feels like we do need to lag a little bit. Okay, that looks... Oh, that looks cursed now. I'm so used to the damage number. It doesn't change anything. Okay, before you say, Oh, Dex, you should have turned off the damage numbers that it doesn't lag as much. That doesn't change anything. Okay, the game actually does speed up a little bit. It's not much, but you can see it. Maybe we have now 3 FPS before we had like 0 0.1. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Are we killing them? Are we killing them? I mean, the number is going up. The curse is gone. We survived the curse. There's a freeze. How is this all possible? <gasps> do you see what I see there? Do you see that? When do I when do I take it? Wait, okay, wait, when do we take it? 2920, I guess? Do you know how long this run has taken so far? Two hours and fifteen minutes. Well seventeen. <laughs> Isn't this insane? We are about to 29 minutes and, and this has taken 2 hours and 18 minutes now. <laughs> uh, the enemies aren't frozen. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that the game is not lagging as much anymore without the damage numbers. Like, I fear the enemies will just charge in because they're skipping frames or so, like before. Um, but it's, it's okay. It's fine. We're still getting a lot of kills. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, they're getting in way too far. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um... Uh, no, 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 no! We got this far! There's a freeze down there, I'm walking over, there were some chickens. I don't know where exactly... No, I, I can't do it. Wait, they're dying. If I just walk up again, maybe. Okay, I got the chickens. I, I can't afford to go for the freeze, it's way too far down. There are also enemies, do you see the explosions? They're walking in. No! I got the freeze! This means we get at least one vacuum. This also means we survived the curse. Wait, when is the next curse? The next curse is at 29.50. The final 10 seconds of the game. Where's vacuum? <gasps> there. There, 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 there. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, they are about to be unfrozen. I have to move over to another freeze. Right? Come on, we, we can cheese this. I have really bad news. There are like zero freezes around and I can't see them. Like, even if I find one, there is no way I, I can see it. Do you see all the explosions? These ones here? That means there are enemies in these spots. And they are just crawling in further and further. But are these the pots? What are the pots doing? 
What is wrong with the pots? Go away. No, those are normal enemies, yeah. So some of them are exploding. I could definitely make this somehow work, but I would... No, we just miss a little bit of damage. At this point, we just have to pray, because, like, I can gamble and hope that I find another freeze. But, like, knowing that the chickens are here is guaranteed healing. But that only helps if they don't stick on top of me and end up killing me once... They move again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please die. Please die. Should I move up? Should I move away from them? But they are also... Uh, they are also moving in. Okay, okay. They're exploding. They're exploding. Okay, they're exploding. More of them are exploding. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Are we doing this? Okay, are you also... He's also exploding. Okay. Okay. So many exploding balls. They... This is what you need to understand. It was always about the balls. It starts with the balls and it ends with the balls. Sometimes you have to start with fireballs, then you end with death skeleton face balls and bodies coming out of balls. Balls. That's a little bit weird. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> the design is so weird. <laughs> Not that I think about it. Oh my god. Imagine you had like little faces on your balls and they just start talking randomly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. And little buddies coming out. That's like when you know when you know it's been too long. It's like, yeah, we just hatched on our own now. You know what? We we had enough of this. We are just coming out on our own. <laughs> oh my god. Do you have to pay child support for that? But I guess you're kind of feeding them, right? So technically speaking, that is child support in one way or another. The curse is about to happen. No! Right, I wanted to have a free- There's no way I could have found a freeze. It's just way too laggy. And I thought it happens in the last 10 seconds, but why- Wait, why does it already happen now? Our game lagged so much that our Wicked Season is 10 seconds ahead of time. Because the time lagged so much. Wait, that is insane. Usually, you get the growth at 30 minutes, and we'll have it at 29.50. So, Dex, what is the plan? Yeah, I don't know. There's a chicken. There's another chicken. That was a little bit too much. If we survive this curse, I think we got it. We just need to survive this curse. There are three chickens down. I can move around a little bit. It actually does help, because sometimes it's just one enemy that gets through. And as long as I walk away, it's fine. But again, look at the explosions in the background there. Those are enemies moving in. And they are moving in very fast. And the new ones that spawn now have the bonus HP from the curse. I don't think it applies to the ones that were already spawned. But, um, yeah, that means this could be a problem. 10 a.m. in Germany and it's all about the balls. <gasps> oh god, go away from me. Oh god, go away. No, no, no. <gasps> <laughs> no, 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 pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick, pick, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick. Oh my god, we have only one second that we need to survive. Okay, um, where's the vacuum though? Wasn't there a vacuum? It's there to the left. Did I move that far away? <gasps> I can't believe it. We did everything I wanted to achieve. We freeze them, and they will stay frozen. We got a vacuum. That means we'll get the max level unless the Reaper just spawns and kills us and we are still leveling up, you know? Then we don't have the max level. But I can- There's another freeze. I can pick this up at 30 minutes. That means we'll max out, most likely at least, unless it takes like years to level up. Um, this is- this is perfection. This is the perfect video. It's literally like an anime episode, you know, where Son Goku is just screaming around for 50 minutes where we almost died. You know, you saw that, where our HP bar disappeared. And suddenly we redeemed ourselves and we did it. We beat the game. Oh yeah, now we have to add like 60 fillers, right? We're about to the end, so that makes the most sense that we have to stretch it out to, to you know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the story of Fire Wand. If it was a cook, if it would own a restaurant, if it would own its own hotel chain. What about Fire Wand as a water wand, huh? That was it. We did it. That was it. Hi. Hello there. How are you doing? Huh? <laughs> Look at the damage numbers. Uh, do you want... Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Nice. What do you think does the damage number look like? I will bet it's six... Well, six point no, four point seven G. 
Nine G? What? Well, <laughs> Jesus. Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.